Hello. Well, you know, it's been an unexpected bonus of having this YouTube channel that uh, sometimes I feature equipment and then people will supply me with the parts I need, which has happened a couple of times lately. So let's see what I've been sent. So uh, this comes from Switzerland. And we have some parts for this Super VHS machine. Let's have a look. So this is a Panasonic AG7350 uh, Super VHS deck, though you wouldn't know it because the uh, door is missing that says Super VHS. Also, uh, the playback hi-fi audio level for one channel is missing. Uh, so what we have here are several parts. Let's uh, open this one. So that's the uh, cassette door. Uh, I may still require a spring for one end. Um, I don't know if there's a spring floating around in there. If not, I'll have to find one, uh, a, a little torsion spring. We have not one, but two of these uh, controls. Let's stick one of those on now. These are actually lovely clean condition, better than the ones that are on the machine. Oh, I'll have to take them all off and clean them up to the same standard now. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. And another component in here. Not sure what this is. Ah, <laughs> what was I saying about a spring? Wonderful. I'm not sure which end it fits. Probably this end. We'll uh, investigate that in a moment. So uh, let's have a go at fitting this part. You know, the uh, captive screws in the cover. I like that. I'll probably have to take this front off, which means taking all these lovely knobs off again. Okay, it mounts like that, but now it needs a spring fitting so that it will pop down. But I just wanted to make sure that it's under this guide properly. This is the puller that pulls it open when you um, select eject. So it'll sit, when the tape is in, it sits down. And then when eject is selected, this pops up to allow the tape out. So the spring goes this end. I just need to work out exactly where. Okay, let me show you uh, how I fitted that spring. So, the plain side of the spring sits here on the, the door, and then the hooked side of the spring goes through the carriage uh, wall here onto the side here. So now that pops the door shut and then this mechanism here will open it. So uh, let's power it up and check that works. Okay, can we power this up on my ever faithful um, isolation transformer, except of course the other day when I blew it up. Good. Um, anybody remember which is the eject button? That one. Perfect. Since we're doing the cosmetics of this machine, I really need to clean up some of the stickiness from here where it's had labels stuck to it in the past. Let's do that. Right, that's much better. And of course, now is the time to clean this uh, because it's off the machine, so it's a much flatter surface uh, a good deal easier to, uh, to work on. Now, uh, a couple of things about refitting panels like this. Firstly, not on this particular machine, but on a lot of video recorders, including some Panasonic ones, the door is on the front panel. And if that's the case, you have to remember to open it with your thumb as you fit the front so that it goes in above this lever here. But on this particular one, that's not a concern because that's mounted on the carriage. 
But what we do need to watch is gravity because all these switches now are set to the bottom. So we need to set them all to the bottom there. Good. And then set these back to normal operation. I suppose what I could have done with all these knobs is uh, put them in the ultrasonic tank. That would certainly clean them up. Okay, that's it for the, the front. There is a, a panel here you could put on, but I just find it annoying that you can't get to those controls. So I don't have that panel and it's not something I particularly want. Now one more quick check that everything still works now that it has the front panel on. Is that supposed to light up? Mode lock. I'd switched the mode lock on, I think, by accident. That's what my problem was. So if I switch that on... Yes, it ignores everything. <laughs> what a beginner's mistake that was. Lovely. That is now a tidy looking machine. I like that. Let's move on to my next item that somebody sent me. So for the next item, some weeks ago uh, I featured this gorgeous uh, digital Betacam deck that had been donated to me, DVW A500P. Uh, but when I was going through it, uh, you will have remembered, uh, I found that the pinch roller was in a terrible state. So uh, I believe I have here a replacement pinch roller and it comes on an assembly. So uh, I've never changed one of these before. Uh, let's uh, see how easy it is to do. So this is a machine uh, with the lids taken off uh, and I can see the pinch roller there and I can probably gain sufficient access to it. But for the purposes of uh, showing you what I'm doing, I think we'll take the uh, cassette carriage out. Right, much easier to see now. So here's the pinch roller assembly and that's spring loaded. Let's have a look at our replacement one. So the problem with the original, you'll see here, is that there's cracks in it. There's a big crack there, you can see. So I've been sent this one. It's subtly different. It has grooves cut in it here, whereas the old one is all flat. And the assembly, the arm assembly, is slightly different. I may have it upside down. Is that it? Oh, it's not It's not so different then. So it's just that these uh, these grooves exist in the new one. I wonder if that was done in some way to prevent cracking. You never know. So there's a, a circlip here. That looks easy enough to undo. OK, so you can quite clearly see the pinch roller here. Uh, but where is the spring? There's a spring under here. Underneath the shaft that holds the circlip at the top. So I need to look carefully at uh, where the arm to that spring goes. It's there. That's it. Where the tip of the screwdriver is. So on a replacement, it sits somewhere around here. Let's take the um, circuit off first. And there's a washer beneath that. I wonder if I can hold that um, spring intention while I change the uh, pinch roller over. Maybe. So there's the, the spring. I'm holding intention there. So without dropping it. That went quite well I thought. Refit washer. Refit circlip. It's not really a circlip. Some kind of clip. 
make sure that's properly set in place would not want it to ping off that looks perfect let's uh, refit the cassette carriage I appear to have got I've fouled the wiring for the cassette carriage so I have to take it out again I'll refit this top plate because it provides some support to the cassette carriage let's put a tape in and check that that plays OK. So our freshly fitted uh, pinch roller is now here. Let's see if we can point to it safely. And blunt end of this. It's there. So I just wanted to show you the uh, state of the old pinch roller. So as you saw from the top, uh, there were cracks in it. But uh, it's when you look in more detail at it. It's really shiny. It's amazing that it worked as well as it did. So uh, ideal, I've replaced that. The part that's gone in is a good second-hand part. It's not brand new, but um, I'm a lot more confident with that. I'll still do some more testing on this machine though. So a big thank you to uh, both of my viewers who sent me those parts for these machines. Really good of you. Thanks very much indeed. Uh, please remember to like, share and especially subscribe and I'll do a lot more content on audio and video technology in the near future. Bye for now.